Opel Vectra B is an ambiguous car. Nice design, good safety, good equipment, and a large selection of engines. But, on the other hand, the spoiled image of the Opel brand, especially in terms of corrosion. In addition, age and overly economical owners do not improve the performance of the car. Let's see if it is worth contacting Vectra B and what to look for when choosing a used copy. The body of the Opel Vectra B is beautiful, but short-lived. Rumors about its poor corrosion resistance are true, but not to the mythical extent that many imagine. Engines Opel Vectra B Vectra B has more choice of engines than configurations. Moreover, during the release, the motors were regularly upgraded or replaced with new ones. There are no frankly unsuccessful motors. All with their own characteristics and weaknesses, but the total hassle-free resource is above 250,000 kilometers. Let's start in ascending order. 1.6 liters the most common engine, but not the best choice. Before restyling, its 8-valve version with the X16 SCR index was installed on the cheapest configurations. Its plus is simplicity, and the minus is power only 75 horsepower, with the fuel of this motor is mono injection, that is, one nozzle. Therefore, the consumption is less than 10 liters you won't get anywhere in the city. They usually try to compensate for the lack of forces with the gas pedal, which significantly accelerates engine wear. After 20 years, it is difficult to find such a motor without a major overhaul. And if the repair has taken place, then it is difficult to assess the quality of its implementation without opening it. But the 8 valve when the timing belt breaks does not bend the valve. 16 valve version of the 1.6 liter engine already produces 101 horsepower with this is quite enough for comfortable movement without racing ambitions possible problems one coking rings most often due to low quality engine oil and its rare replacement in our area the engine oil must be changed at least every 8 to 10,000 km and in the case of OVB 1.6 liters it is better to use synthetic oil two oil zer it usually appears after 150 to 200,000 run. It can be treated by replacing valve stem seals, valve guides, deco king rings, or regular topping up of oil. If the listed components are in order, then the oil level will be in order from replacement to replacement. 3. The EGR valve is clogged. You can clean it, or you can muffle it and forget it. Signs, the engine dulls and floats speed. After restyling, the X16 XEL was modernized, a short intake manifold was installed, the ignition module was changed, and a number of jams were eliminated. Since 2000, it has been replaced by the Z16 XE, which is not much different, but complies with negative 4 euro standards. An electronic throttle and one extra lambda probe were installed on the Z motor. In parallel with it, the Y16 XE was installed with other brains sharpened for negative 3 euro. 1.8 liters in the early years of production, the X18 XE was installed in the Opel Vectra B. This engine can be called optimal for the Vectra B, along with the similar 2 liter X20 XEV. Possible problems for both, 1. The intake manifold is cracking. Signs, increased gas mileage and floating speed. Treatment replacing the collector with a new or used one, it is useless to cook. 2. The idle speed regulator is clogged. Cleaning helps for a short time, it is better to change. 3. Oil jair after 250,000 km is most often treated by replacing oil scraper rings or valve seals. 4. Camshaft sensor. Often fails, only replacement. 5. Expensive Lambda Pro. He is titanium and kills his bad gasoline. It is better to change to Bosch, NGK, or FAE. According to the reviews of the owners, this trio works correctly. After restyling, the 1.8 liter engine was replaced with the X18 XE1. The index differs in only one digit, and the motor is completely different. If the predecessor was created on the basis of the 2-liter X20 XEV engine, then the updated unit is based on the already familiar 1.6-liter. The motor did not last long. After 2000, it was upgraded to the Z18 XE. 
The essence remained the same, but the intake exhaust manifold was changed, one lambda probe was added and the gas pedal became electronic. But they removed the EGR valve, one less problem. The main potential problem of the updated engines of the Z and Y series is the poor location of the ECU. It was placed on the engine itself and vibration with high temperature over time kills the electronic unit. The repair replacement procedure is complex and expensive. Some owners move the computer in advance to a more calm place. X18 XE1 also has this problem. 2.0 liters the 2 liter engine X20 XEV has more power and slightly higher fuel consumption. Otherwise, the weak points are identical with the little brother 1.8 liters. After restyling, it was replaced with 2.2 liters. 2.2 liters the only one among Vector B motors with a timing chain instead of a belt. The chain replacement period usually comes after 250,000 mileage. Given the average mileage and age of any Vector B, there is a high probability that this burden will fall on the shoulders of the new owner. The first sign of an imminent replacement is the diesel sound of the engine. Z22 SE is quite frisky, 147 liters are felt. With The main sore is a leak from under the valve cover. It helps to change to plastic. The Z22 SE is made from recycled aluminium. Therefore, cases of cracking in the aluminum cylinder head are not uncommon, especially after the fanatical tightening of the candles. Replacement will be expensive. V6 engines until 1999, a 2.5 liter was installed. After it was replaced by 2.6 liters. The difference is in a single ignition module and an electronic gas pedal. In addition, the Y26 SE has four lambda probes and four catalysts. The oil heat exchanger, which leaks with age, and the thermostat are located in the camber. It is very difficult to get to them. Therefore, the work of replacing the thermostat or repairing the heat exchanger will be expensive. Spare parts for the timing unit will also cost twice as much. Otherwise, the cost of servicing six-cylinder engines is not much different from four-cylinder ones. Unless, of course, it comes to a major overhaul of the engine. Diesel engines of all the offers of Opel Vectra B in the car market, diesel vehicles make up no more than 5%. Therefore, the chance of finding a car in good condition is minimal. The time-tested turbocharged diesel engine Isuzu X17DT was installed on the Vectra B only for the first two years of its conveyor life. By itself, the 1.7-liter diesel is legendarily reliable, but 20-plus years of operation leave their mark. After him, they began to install a 2-liter X20 DTL, which is also quite reliable. Problems mainly arise with the fuel system, and that is due to the age and quality of the fuel. After restyling, it was replaced by Y20 DTH. The differences are minimal, slightly tightened environmental standards. The most powerful 2.2 liter diesel engine for OVB is very rare. In all engines, except for the 2.2 liter gasoline, the timing belt must be replaced every 60,000 kilometers if you are unsure of the honesty of the seller, then be sure to change the belt for prevention. If the belt breaks, the pistons will meet the valves and the consequences will be costly. The 8-valve 1.6 liter is an exception, but staying motionless in the middle of the road is also not very pleasant. Transmission at first glance, the OVB has only two transmission options, a 5-speed manual and a 4-speed automatic. But if you dig deeper, then each of them has a bunch of varieties. Manual transmissions, the most gentle modifications of the F15 or F17 were installed on the younger engines of 1.6 liters and 1.8 after restyling. A potential, but not guaranteed problem with them is the output shaft bearings. At the initial stages, the rumble from the box may not be heard, pay attention to this point before buying. The configuration option with mechanical boxes F16 or F18 is in second place in terms of prevalence. The bearings are reliable, there are practically no problems up to 300 to 400,000 mileage. Boxes F23 and F25 were installed only in tandem with the most powerful gasoline and diesel engines. Therefore, they are the least common. 
The best way to repair a Vectra B manual transmission is to replace it as an assembly. There are plenty of used ones in good condition. At the same time, the price for the replacement work is likely to be higher than the box itself. Compatibility between different modifications is not 100%. At least you will have to change a couple of brackets. At the most, you will also have to change the drive with the clutch. A common weak spot for any mechanic is the helicopter. This is the name of the external gear shift mechanism. And in the case of the F-23, the system of cables and wings. It is repaired by collective farming with the help of bolts or a replacement. Both are inexpensive. The clutch can last even 200,000 kilometers. The real resource directly depends on the driving style. Automatic transmissions Opel Vectra B with automatic transmission in the secondary market is not more than 20%. Therefore, it is more difficult to find a live automatic machine than a mechanic. Moreover, in the case of a machine, the regularity and quality of service are very important. In terms of varieties, the situation is similar to the manual transmission. Modifications AF-13 and AF-17 were installed on weaker engines. Powerful equipped AF-14, AF-20, and AF-22. The latter heat up less and have a longer resource without repair. With good maintenance, this is 350 to 400,000. However, when the automatic transmission has exhausted its entire resource, the repair will be very expensive. Be sure to check the Vectra B with an automatic on the go. There should be no jerks when switching. Check the automatic transmission dipstick. The oil should be clear and without a burnt smell. Its replacement period is once every 40 to 60,000 km chassis Opel Vectra B. There is no point in talking about the resource of the original Opel Vectra B suspension, since this one can no longer be found. The design of the front suspension is simple, reliable, and quite comfortable. The ball joint changes separately from the lever. This is a plus. Silent blocks also change individually. Therefore, repairs can be done a little bit and inexpensively. Most often, you will have to change the stabilizer struts, as on many other machines. You may also be faced with the need to replace the front upper shock absorber mounts. They sag over time. There are many analogs on sale, but pay attention to the quality of rubber. It can be soft and hard. According to the reviews of the owners, the supports of the German manufacturer Sachs go well. The rear suspension is so simple it is multi-link. Although there are three levers at the back, the main expense item is four floating silent blocks. They cost by the standards of Opel expensive from $5 to $15 a piece. Replacement work can cost more. You should not delay replacing them as they affect rear camber. If violated, it can eat rubber, which costs more. The truth lies in the details, and the details must be of high quality. Cheap Chinese spare parts cost half as much, and the suspension resource is reduced by three to four times. Therefore, savings must be reasonable. Shock absorbers commonly nurse 100,000 km hubs on average 120 to 150,000 km in general. The Vector B suspension can be described as reliable and hassle-free. Electrician, the Vector B wiring is oversized. Moreover, the margin both in terms of strength and functionality. Before restyling, the same wiring was laid from the factory for both cheap and expensive trim levels. Therefore, it is very easy to equip your car with cruise control or heated seats. Most often, it is enough just to find an additional relay and a button. The front panel display starts to lose pixels over time. To be treated by soldering the loop. At risk are the ignition coil, lambda probe, air conditioning sensors. But this is rather not a weak point of the model, but the features of maintenance and operation. A fairly common occurrence is the breakdown of the air conditioning compressor. Although the reason is most often not electrical, but age. Over time, the stuffing box and other rubber seals inside the compressor dry out. Therefore, when buying, do not be fooled by you only need to fill free on. Rebuilding an AC compressor is quite expensive. The main electrical problem for Vectra B is the ECU on some engine modifications, which we mentioned in the corresponding section. 
contacts inside the block are destroyed due to temperature and vibration is almost guaranteed a matter of time. Hard to find, expensive to change. Brakes and steering Vector B has disc brakes on all wheels. Only the version with an 8-valve 1.6-liter gasoline engine was equipped with rear drums. Doubt of the design miscalculations, only the handbrake mechanism. Set up and work poorly. The rest of the problems are mostly age-related. Check the condition of the brake pipes and cylinders. Over time, they deteriorate due to corrosion. If the ABS unit has stopped working, then most likely it is a matter of poor contact inside the unit. It is solved quite easily with the help of soldering. The steering rack usually reminds of itself after 250,000 mileage. This is manifested by a leak or a knock. You can restore for $100, buy a little more used or rebuilt at the factory for a lot. Before restyling, the cardan and the sleeve in the steering column quickly break. It does not affect the speed, but it strains with a knock. Many change to a post-styling more reliable spline version of the cardan. Opel Vectra B attracts with a good design and affordable maintenance costs. But finding a decent copy without the imprint of total savings will not be easy. First of all, choose a well-groomed body. Then the engine, preferably not the ZY series. Restoring the suspension even from scratch will not be very expensive. Therefore, you cannot bother much about its condition before buying. 